Hello everyone, welcome here. Today we are going to learning Python interview questions and answers, a new edition for basic concept how you need to understand. So let's begin. Explain the difference between Python 2 and 3 versions. So this is a super easy answer you have to tell like a Python 2 and 3 is the latest version which is released. The differences of uh, these two, Python 3 is introduced several changes like improvement of language consistency and performance rather than Python 2. So a simple example, Python 3 print is a function. So you need to parenthesis to be add in Python 3. In Python 2, it would be like a statement, for example, here it's shown like a double quotes or single quotes only it's accepted. So these are changes if you explain the differences for regarding the performance, a syntax base, what the changes, if you explain any one, that would be great answer for this. The next question, what is PEP8? Why it is an important in Python? PEP8 is the Python enhancement proposal that provides guidelines for writing readable python code it includes the conventions of a code layout naming conventions indentation and more following pep8 improves code readability how to read code by compilers consistency and maintenance especially when working with the teams how does python handle memory management this is a very important question where how you are going to prepare a more performance and accurate apps in using Python. So automatic garbage collection. Yes, this is a very, very important to like uh, nullify or empty or clear the variables and objects where you are used in the programming languages while implementing the application development. So Python has a garbage collector to clean up unreferenced objects automatically so understand this is a very very important and reference counting each object has a reference count and when it is reaches the zero the memory is deallocated for object or memory allocation for variable declarations object declarations anything and memory allocation pools yes small objects are allocated from pooled memory spaces to optimize the performance to increase the performance, these all the activities would be done automatically in Python running while compiling and Python app running. So this is a very, very important question for beginners, freshers or experienced persons who wants to give a memory management answers. The next question is. Explain the difference between equal to equal to and is operator in Python. So equal to equal to checks the values two variables are equal. It's a comparison operator also we can say that. And similarly is checks two variable refer to the same object is in memory or not it will be checked. So strongly understand it where the difference like a, like a identifying between two data items or memory allocations. So check here a equal to something like a equal to equal to c and b equal to a, a is c and c equal to 1 to 3 print a is b. So the values true in their contents are the same, false they are different objects and true both points like uh, to the same objects. So understand it how it is going to be the answer. If you feel like if you want to learn a practical oriented real time examples course truly for online courses with ease also called it's a self paced learning experience and practicing assignments with your own time lifetime access online courses are readily available if you are interested find the description i'll share the links for enrollments right start learning today if you want to learn seriously and come to the point here, what is the purpose of underscore underscore init underscore underscore method in Python? So it's also called it's a init method. Special method it is a often called for constructor for a method. 
it might be it's not mandatory Con constructors are not mandatory if you used first when you call the car like a class file it would be called automatically so here it is a, it is automatically called when it is an object of the class is created and initializes the object attributes means when you are created a class and a, a constructor is created when you access this particular call to run or initializing an object yes it would be automatically called so best example here init method self names parameters two parameters are declared here person when we are calling and passing a particular init method so the like a output if you see like a person that uh, object dot name parameter alice only it will comes if you specify person dot age age only comes what you are calling and accessing that particular output you will see in the output so practice such a examples i hope if you feel this video lecture is helping for you to clear any few interview questions and answers please do like share subscribe for more videos thank you